You may remember I had a strange noise on my fire blade and when I was stripping down the uh, top fairing and I'll show you the video in a little bit. I actually stripped it on the bike and perhaps took a bit more off it on the bike than I needed to just to get the top fairing off. I noticed some of the fastenings were, fit, were missing. Um, so what I'm going to do is just a very quick video putting it all back together. I'll give it a wash over. It's not all perfect because you could spend forever cleaning the parts of bikes that are not going to get seen. Just going to put it back together and mention some of the bits where there were missing fasteners or where I think I might need to do a little bit more to stop any kind of creaking and groaning that you might get from the fairing. So this might be useful if you're doing your top cowl. Putting the headlight in, literally it's only held in by four screws and 
they use Rivnot type connectors in the actual fairing. Now one of these has been replaced. The trouble with using Rivnots is that if they pull out, the space they come out of is left either bigger or broken. So whoever's put this one in, I'm not quite sure how they've done it, but it is a different size screw that goes on. So that doesn't really matter. It'll hold in perfectly well. And unless you're really, really picky, you're not going to see it. On a bike that's just a rider and not a shower, that's going to be absolutely fine. So I'll just get them in. All right. Funnily enough, this screw won't come out, and this one's not anywhere to screw into. It'd be useful to use a rivnut type thing. I actually, looking through my fastenings, found a part rivnut stainless and a stainless screw, which I'm hoping that I'm going to use in here. Now, it is slightly thicker than the hole. So all I'm going to do is ease the hole slightly and then glue this in. Um, it's not under any pressure whatsoever that, so it should be fine. should do it. A little bit of super glue gel just to hold it in. And I've left the fastening on the outside so that if it does burst out a bit it won't really matter. And then that push it that is lovely. I just stuck my fingers together. That went in lovely. There we go. The rip nut did a lovely job and I've got a stainless screw that will go with it. I'm just going to put a little rubber washer on as well. Tighten it in and then that shouldn't really need looking at again. And yes, I did check the screw wasn't too long. When I took this off the bike, I spotted that there should have been a fastener through there, which is one of these plastic where it squeezes through the middle and squeezes out. There should also have been three fasteners here and there was only two. Also, the indicator comes through here and it should have a plate in here which was missing. So all of these are things that could cause this to be causing it to move about and just make that strange noise that I kept complaining about. So what I've done going through my spare parts, I have found the right size screw, although it's not the right head. I hate using all unmatched fastenings. However, I'm not going to wait or I'm not going to go and buy a set just for this. It's inside, no one can see it. So I'm quite happy to use that at the top end. And it's stainless as well, better than most people would use. So I need to put these two back on. The other side was exactly the same. Fastening missing, screw missing. Hopefully when that's all done and I put it back on the back, it won't make the wibbly noise.
I'm going to put the indicators back on. I haven't got a couple of the parts that would be OEM, uh, one of which is a seal on the outside and the other is a plate on this side. For the moment, I'm not going to worry about the seal. The seal doesn't actually touch against the body of the indicator, uh, but it might, if I've still got that noise, might be something about the indicator moving in the hole. So I'd have to look at that. And on the inside, instead of a plate, I've got some bigger washers to put on. So they should clamp it up really nicely. I think this is going to be okay. I don't think this was an issue. So a nice big washer. Original washer. the top fairing all back together now ready to go back on the bike but I'm not putting it back on yet so quite a few other things I'm going to do on this bike such as valve clearances and sorting out the wiring so I'm going to put it somewhere safe and I'll get on with the other things which will be in some of the next two or three videos if you've enjoyed this why not subscribe come along the journey with us on all of our projects thanks for watching anyway